Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akisha. Patch testing is one of the most important things that you can do for your skin when it comes to trying new products. If you're anything like me, you love products. I am a product junkie, but I always make sure to do a patch test on my skin. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the benefits of patch testing, the best place to do it, as well as take you along the journey as I patch test some new products. If you're new to my channel, I do post a lot of skincare, lifestyle, makeup, hair related videos. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. And without further ado, let's get started. What is patch testing? Patch testing essentially is trying out a product on a sensitive area of your skin to see if you're gonna have any reactions to it. This is a really essential part of trying new products because you'll want to know if it's gonna give you any irritation to your skin, any allergic reactions, any contact dermatitis before putting it all over your face, which is something that everyone sees. So why not test it out on an area that is hidden from the public and you can easily cover it if you do have any adverse reactions to it and let that heal rather than going headfirst, deep diving in it with your face, okay? Your money maker, okay? So, what are the best places to patch test? Some of the best places are on your neck, so behind your ear around this area, because it's a very sensitive part of your skin. On your chest, you can go ahead and put it like closer to your uh, chest area, so if you are wearing any type of deep Vs, it won't show too much. You can put it here on your arm. This is another very sensitive part, or you can put it here on your uh, forearm as well. Personally, I like putting it on my forearm because it's easier for me to see. I do film a lot of videos, obviously, on YouTube, so I wanna make sure that this entire area is good and clean. Yeah, I'll never see my hands, okay? At all, unless I'm doing a DIY. Patch testing can last anywhere from one to three days. Three being optimal because you can really see if over time this will give you any type of irritation. One day is okay, it's enough to see if you're gonna get any quick reactions, but you should be aiming for at least three days of patch testing. This is future me editing the video. I do wanna say ignore the purging that's on my skin. I had just tried retinol for the very first time and my skin just went bonkers so ignore that um, my skin so far has been doing very well as you can see so that was just a moment in time when our skin was not reacting to retinol <laughs> anyway carry on so the first thing grab all your products that you're going to be patch testing on your skin and then put them on your desired area so let's just say the arm to make sure that I know where I've applied it, I like to take a pen or some type of Sharpie marker and just write the name of the product on my arm. This helps me remember exactly which product went where, so if there is any redness, I'll know exactly which one gave it to me. When I am patch testing, I like to do it after my shower and leave it on overnight. I have a really extensive exfoliation routine in the shower and I wanna make sure that the products really soak in so it gives me time to see if it's gonna make an effect on my skin. Now that you have all of that information, let's patch test. <laughs> These are the products that we're gonna be testing. These ones are from RNW, which is a Korean brand that just launched in Canada. I recently did a video on these. So the first thing I'm doing, I'm just cleaning off the area with a toner. Doesn't matter which toner you're using, it's just mimicking what I do on my face. Then I take all the products that I'm going to be using and put them on a little dish or some type of uh, palette so I can get them all prepared. Now this is a little extra, you can just use your fingers, but I'm using a Q-tip to apply it onto my arm in little round circles. Okay, and when I'm done, it looks like this. Part of patch testing means that you need to keep the moisture on the skin so that the products are able to be processed faster, in a sense. So this works, or you can do this by just applying a band-aid. So here I have a few different band-aids and I'm just going to place them on my skin to keep some of that moisture in the skin. When I'm all done with the band-aids, I'll go ahead and I'll take a Sharpie marker and just write the names of the products on my arm. And this is just so I know exactly what I put on my arm and where. So if I do get any irritation, I know exactly what caused it. I'll leave this on overnight with the band-aids and in the morning I'll do the same thing and apply them again for three days. And then after those three days, if nothing has happened on my arm, I will go ahead and start using it on my skin. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick video. Comment down below and let me know what is your patch testing routine. I would love to know your thoughts. As always, click over here to see some of my previous videos. Stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I will see you lovely ladies and gents in my next one. Bye.